everyone so I'm back with another sketch and story this is of course the beautiful art subscription box that comes out bi-monthly and focuses on handmade watercolor paints and artisan art supplies I've already reviewed one of these earlier this year which I'll leave a link for in the description below so do go and have a look at that so you can see some more of the types of things that you'll get inside your sketch and story okay so let's have a look inside lovely teal tissue paper a little sticker let's see what we've got so first of all we've got the card and i'm gonna do that really quick because i don't want to ruin what we uh, have inside but it says that the featured maker for this box is elena keenan from hydrocolor so it says this month we're featuring none other than the queen of shimmer and color wizard herself elena started Hydrocolor in 2017 with a limited palette of lovely matte watercolours and it has now blossomed into a simply wonderful collection of bright classic shimmers, neons, iridescent colours, duotone colour shifts, rainbow glitter paints, you name it, she's got it. Um, so yeah, if you don't know of Hydrocolor, a fantastic paint company um, and the colours are just incredible, the colour shifts especially are beautiful. The featured artist is Gadis or Gadis Mutiara. Mutiara? Um, who is a modern calligrapher based in Illinois. Born and raised in Singapore, uh, they worked as a maths teacher and the lettering helped them to relax and de-stress. Started lettering in 2016 when a student showed me a brush pen for the very first time. When I'm not lettering, I'm either watching old reruns of Jeopardy with my husband or cuddling with our foster cat. Um, so then we have the art challenge, illusions and dreams. What spell would you cast if you suddenly woke up in a world full of magic? Would you conjure up your favourite magical creature, give yourself the ability to fly, uh, make yourself a swords fighting adventurer, or maybe wish yourself on an island in the Bahamas, martini in hand, anything goes. So the art challenge to create uh, with the tools in this box is illusions and dreams. So really, that's a really vast challenge, isn't it? You could interpret that in a number of different ways. So let's have a look what we've actually got then. Oh, lovely. Okay, so get the little bits out of the way first that's included. So we've got a little crunchy sweet. We've got a peppermint tea bag and we've got some United Tastes of America, which I think are those just those little um, candies. Then we've got a couple of, and I recognise these. These are Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Pens. I actually have some right here of my own. Um, and this... Uh, set comes with the colours pink and green but they do actually change colour so just like some of the paints they have that colour shift so the pink will change to metallic blue in the light and the green will change to metallic red so we'll test those out in a moment we've then got the paints themselves from hydrocolor and you can see they've been um, made in these gorgeous little molds so we've got flower shapes and sun shapes and i don't know whether you'll be able to see a colour shift just yet uh, until I actually get the paints out one by one but I can see that there's a gold, a green, a purple, a blue and a red and they all shift uh, depending on which way you look at them so that'd be really really cool to look at in a moment. Drogon, Nimbus, Regal, Viserion and Illusion so obviously names have been inspired by Game of Thrones. We've then got a couple of Windsor and Newton brush markers so let me just check these are the alcohol based yes they are because Windsor and Newton do have a watercolor marker as well so alcohol markers in the colors ocean teal and Egyptian blue these have a brush tip and a chisel tip and we'll test those out as well we've got a little uh, business card from sketch and story and then we've got what looks like handmade paper which I've never ever tried or used before and it seems as though they've been washed with a paint so, hmm, interesting. It'll be really, really fun to see how the paints react and the pens uh, on this paper. We've then got a little postcard. A dream is a wish your heart makes. So that's the uh, the Disney postcard, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. That's going to go up on my wall. And that's it. So we really need to have a go with all of the different tools now, don't we? And see what they can do. I'm really excited, above all, about this paper. Really, really cool. So let's put this to one side. And I'll get the card again so we can just look at the menu and see if we've missed any important details. 
So it says this month is all about the epic fantasy adventure stories. Think Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, tales of dark brooding castles, spell casting, sparks flying and the enchanted forests full of magical creatures. Use the brush markers in rich tones to paint magical gemstones or try out the ever-changing iridescent watercolours and hybrid metallic pens on white paper and the gorgeous handmade indigo dyed paper. So we've got the artisan watercolours, these here. It says these beautiful iridescent watercolours were made specifically, specifically for sketch and story by none other than the fabulous Elena from Hydrocolour. They may look like pearl colours, but swatch them on black and white, tilt them at different angles and see the colours that are magically hidden beneath. And they are named from Game of Thrones. Windsor & Newton Brush Marker Pro. The twin tip markers have a broad nib and a brush nib, which you can use for painting and lettering products, which we know already. Uh, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Pens. Um, pens are unique to Pentel and made up of combinations of two colours, which will show at different angles. Uh, natural fiber indigo handmade paper so it says that this paper is from nepal and it's made from a hundred percent cotton rag and has been carefully dyed by brushing over layers of natural indigo to achieve a spectrum of nuanced shades that is amazing right let's get on with it shall we so first of all i want to try out these uh pentel metallic pens and i'm going to get a piece of white paper as well so that you can see what they look like sort of as standard so of course the only paper I can find now I'm looking is grey and black and uh, tan tone uh, one sec right here we go here we go okay I've got some paper so let's give them a go on that first okay so hopefully if I bring it to camera you'll be able to see what I see which is that we have a green on the top and a pink on the bottom now if we tilt them in a certain direction and catch them in the light it might be better if you look at the little flowers you can see that the green has changed into red and the pink changes into blue just depending on how you tilt it and how you hold it the angle that you look at it from so they're absolutely stunning gel pens they're probably along with some of the jelly roll pens, uh, the best gel pens I think you can get, uh, just for the amazing colour shift and the incredible amount of sparkle that's included uh, within the pigment as well. So that is the pens. Let's give them a go on that indigo paper. I'm really, really excited to see how that looks. So this has obviously had quite a lot of work put into it then, making this paper all natural. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed when doing this is instead of it being the green and the pink that you see when you first put the pen to paper on the white, immediately you're seeing the blue and the red on this indigo paper. Now, as I tilt it in the light, I can't actually see any hints of green or pink, which is the original colour of the pen. So isn't it incredible how different it is just on a different background? We can't even see any green or pink on that whatsoever. But you look at this and these are exactly the same colours and you're getting a really, really nice colour shift on the white. But you're getting that hidden colour on the indigo blue. Really, really cool. OK, so the next thing I really want to try are those beautiful hydrocolor paints so let's get those out okay so i'm going to swatch each one on the white and the indigo blue paper uh let's have a look i might even swatch it on black as well because not everybody obviously is going to have this indigo paper and they might want to see what they look like on black so here's the first one you can barely see it actually on the white but hopefully it'll be a bit different once we've tilted it in the light and we'll see a different colour showing up there. Here's the next one. So you can see that's showing up really, really brightly on the indigo paper. Okay, so I'm going to try it on black as well. Just grab some more of the paint. Okay, the next one is this little rose. I love how the paints have been moulded. It's a really nice change from just pans of paint. It's really cute to have the little shapes. Okay, so look at those incredibly different results on the different types of paper there. So if we look at the white, first of all, 
very, very subtle. As I bring them up to camera and focus you in, you should be able to see those very delicate colour changes there. We've got blue, pink uh, or violet, red, gold and a green at the bottom there. And you can see how delicate they look uh, on their own on this white paper, but still a really, really nice shimmer. Then we move to the indigo paper, which was included, and it's just different again, isn't it? You can see how incredibly bright they are, very, very shiny and very seeable, <laughs> very visible on the uh, the background of the indigo. But I think these paints do come into their own on the black paper. As you can see, if I tilt them, the, uh, the colours are absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, looking through the camera, it's not as bright or as saturated as it is to my eye here. So they're actually even better than what you can see. But yes, very, very impressed with these paints, I must say. And I think, again, the, the best thing for me is this paper. I've never, ever used, as I said, any uh, handmade paper. And it's just a really good experience to test out something that's been handmade. You know, something that we take for granted every day, standard paper. Uh, this is so different and uh, the quality is incredible. OK, so next up we have those brush markers from Windsor & Newton. Now, I can't really see these doing anything on the indigo paper. We'll try, but I can't see it. Now, don't forget these are alcohol based, so they are going to bleed through anything you put them on really unless it's a, a very very thick and sturdy card but just to show you the colours we have we've got a beautiful teal and don't forget that alcohol markers always need layering to get to the actual fully saturated colour we've then got the Egyptian blue which is absolutely stunning so again it did mention in the menu that these could be used for gemstones and they'd be absolutely fantastic tones for that Let's give it a go on the indigo just to see. Yeah, you can't really see that at all, to be honest. It does sort of make it a bit darker and gives it a little bit of a, a, a tone, I guess, a bit of a shade. But anyway, there we go. That is all of the products that was included uh, with this box. Now, I think, as I said, my favourite thing is probably the handmade paper, but the Hydra colours are really, really amazing too. As you know, I absolutely love my metallic paints and these really do stand up to the best. So as I explained in my last review of the Sketch and Story box, there isn't a subscription button or something you can sign up to to buy your box right now. You have to be part of the mailing list in order to get the updates on the new boxes and find out how and where and when you can go and buy your box. So the next box comes out on the 10th of October. You'll get the email if you're on the mailing list around about 3 p.m. UK time and that will give you instructions on how you can order your box. They are limited, so really it's first come first serve on who will end up getting a box. But I can tell you the theme and the contents of the next box. It's called Enchanted and it's the Christmas special edition. It will feature all artisan made products, both shimmer and smooth paints from two paint makers in different countries a hand-thrown travel-sized ceramic palette, a lovely selection of pens and lots of handmade paper in different colours for all your Christmas note writing and painting. The items are from independent makers the world over, including Sweden, Russia, Japan and, of course, the UK. 20% of all the proceeds of the Enchanted Box will go to Rethink Mental Illness. Absolutely fantastic charity. And one of those boxes will be randomly chosen as the Lucky Star Box. That means that 100% of the proceeds for that box will go to the charity and there will be a Hydracolor paint in that box. Hydracolor are, as you know, fantastic. So really, really great reason to sign up there. As I've said, the mailing list email will be in the description of this video so that you can sign up and hopefully get your hands on one of the new Christmas boxes. So I really hope you've enjoyed looking at this video and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.